Ever wondered what the most expensive house in the United States is? Ever wondered what it would be like to live in this house? If you're extremely rich, or perhaps you have a fortune coming to you very soon, you might actually consider living in this gigantic house. Let's go find out what the most expensive house in the United States looks like. But before we begin, make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so that you never miss a video. Let's dive right into the action. Wealthy Americans like to live in luxury. In fact, one of the first things a new millionaire does is buy an ultra-luxurious home in a posh location, such as a place like Beverly Hills. More often than not, the houses usually go for millions of dollars, but mostly around the 100 million mark. The Chartwell Estate, Beverly Hills, California. If you were ever given an opportunity to pick a home in Beverly Hills, you wouldn't think twice about it. Aside from the fact that it brings you very close to your favorite celebrities, it is home to some of the most beautiful houses on the planet. Interestingly, the most expensive home in the United States is also there. The Chartwell Estate in Beverly Hills is the most expensive home in the United States, with a price tag of $350 million in 2019, which is almost the price of over five houses in Beverly Hills. In other parts of the world, this money will be able to purchase at least 10 luxurious houses. However, the price tag has dropped to around $190 million before it was sold. Before 2019, we didn't really know much about the house. In fact, before then, no interior pictures of the house had been released to the general public. All we could do was use our imaginations to guess what the house would look like. Interestingly, the exterior facade of the house has been used on an old television program, The Beverly Hillbillies, as the home of the Clampett family in the series. But we wouldn't see what the interior of the house looks like until a video of the interior was released in 2019. And just like we expected, the house is a complete masterpiece. Have you ever needed to host a family party but changed your mind because you didn't have enough rooms? If you can afford the $350 million asking price, you wouldn't have to worry about this again. This is because the house comes with 11 bedrooms, 18 bathrooms, and a five bedroom guest house designed by Wallace Neff. The house also contains a number of secret tunnels, a pool house, and a car gallery that can hold as many as 40 cars. But it gets even better. The bottle wine storage facility can take as many as 12,000 bottles of wine, which is enough to last you a lifetime. You might want to know that this wine cellar has an automatic temperature control, meaning it automatically balances the temperature of the room to keep the wines in their best shape. How cool is that? The house is, of course, also an architectural masterpiece. The wood flooring used in the house dates as far back as the 18th century, and it is believed that it took the craftsmen more than three months to install. Also, the dining room is large enough to host as many as 24 persons, plus the wall panels used also date back to the 18th century. The house is completely symmetrical, thanks to Henry Samuel, who renovated the 25,000 square foot home in the late 1980s. The home had been built in 1933 and became popular in the 60s after its frequent appearance on the show The Beverly Hillbillies. It was designed in the style of the French Chateau and was done by Summer Spaulding. The house was built for the framed engineer Lynn Atkinson, who decided to commission it for his wife. However, his wife didn't like the house because she found it too pretentious, which caused the family to immediately put it on the market. The house was later owned by Arnold Kirkaby and Gerald Parencio, the now deceased former CEO of Univision. Gerald was the 717th richest billionaire in 2017, and during this time, bought several tiny parcels around the house, which is what makes up the 10.39 acre estate today. In 2019, the house had the highest sale price in the whole of California history, after it was sold to Leach and Keith Murdoch for $150 million. Murdoch is the executive chairman of Nova Entertainment and the CEO of Fox Corporation with a net worth of $3.7 billion as at 2020. The Chartwell Estate is a luxurious masterpiece, but there are a number of other houses which have once been the most expensive in the United States. The Bel Air Beauty Bel Air no doubt has some of the most beautiful houses on the planet, and this 38,000 square foot house arguably tops the list as one of the most beautiful and, well, expensive. At one point, this house was the most expensive in the United States, with an asking price of $250 million, for that price, you can rest assured it would contain the most exquisite facilities, one of which is its outdoor pop-up theater. The house was developed by Bruce Mikowski, an American real estate developer. After pictures and videos were released, we discovered that the house has two master suites, 21 beautiful designed bathrooms, five bars, three gourmet kitchens, 10 very huge VIP guest suites, two wine cellars big enough to house thousands of wines, a spa, and a fitness and training center. But that isn't all. The house also comes with a swimming pool of 85 feet, made entirely out of glass tile, a bowling alley with four lanes, a theater with 40 seats styled in the classic James Bond theme with 7,000 preloaded movies, 
art installations, and a car gallery which has been estimated to be worth over $30 million. The house also comes with one of the most advanced security and home tech systems in the world, not just the United States. As you'd expect, it has a view that is to die for, the mountains, ocean, and a beautiful skyline of Los Angeles. In October 2019, the mansion was eventually sold for $94 million, less than half the asking price. The home of Petra Stunt in Los Angeles. One of the best things about being the daughter of a billionaire is that you'll be able to afford whatever kind of luxury you've been dreaming of. Petra Stunt is the daughter of Bernie Ecclestone, a Formula One billionaire, and her home in the Homely Hills neighborhood in Los Angeles is one of the most expensive in the American history real estate market. She bought the house for $85 million more than six years ago and has made it look even better, which has increased the real estate price. Even though the house might not be the most expensive on the list, it has a reputation for being one of the biggest in the United States. And it's even bigger than the White House. The house comes with a total of 123 rooms, including 27 bathrooms, 14 bedrooms, a flower cutting room, a barber shop, gift wrapping rooms, a bowling alley, and a shoe closet. The space surrounding the house consists of a garden, a tennis court, a swimming pool, which has a pool house, and a koi pond. There's also something for the automobiles, and the house can hold as many as 100 cars at the same time. Alwood Estate If we decide to give Homely Hills the title of the most exotic location in the whole of Los Angeles, we wouldn't be wrong. Alwood Estate, which is one of the most pricey properties in the United States, is located there, and was sold in 2016 for $90 million. It went back on the market in 2019 for $115 million due to its intense market interest. What makes this house really special, aside from its many interior qualities, is the number of celebrities who have lived in it. It was designed by Robert D. Farquhar and features classic European style, coupled with minor Italian details. Built in 1936, the house was made for Florence Quinn, the original owner of the Playboy Mansion and the former wife of Arthur Letts Jr. Remember the famous husband and wife duo Sonny and Cher? They lived in the house after actor Tony Curtis, who had owned the house in the 1960s. It has also seen owners like Joseph Schenick, the founder of 20th Century Fox, Joseph Drown, the founder of the Hotel Bel Air, and William Keck, the founder of Superior Oil. This raises the question, what's so special about this house that almost every billionaire wants to live in it? Well, the house features some of the world's most coveted luxuries, especially for individuals who value luxury in the classic 18th century format. The house comes with elegant chandeliers, marble fireplaces, and 24 karat gold bath fixtures. It also comes with an exotic looking parking lot, a swimming pool with a poolside guest house, and a sunken court. And there you have it, the most expensive houses in the United States. If you had the chance, what house would you pick to live in? Tell us about it in the comments section. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss a video. Till next time.